Hi, this is Dan Petrock, and here's a short video showing how to do section 11.1, number 6, homework. Uh, this one gives you some data for males and females, and uh, you have to sort them and then get the counts for each before you can do a difference in proportion analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and open this data in StatCrunch. And there's a couple ways you can do this, but I think the one of the easiest ways is um, instead of trying to sort all the data, male and female, yes and no, a really nice feature here in StatCrunch, you can just go to Stat and then go to Tables, and it'll automatically create a frequency table. So we can just go Stat, Tables, Frequency, and say, you know what, we're interested in uh, the responses, and we want it grouped by gender. So we want to count the responses grouped by gender, and if we just hit Compute, there it is. It says uh, the yes is for like females is 29 out of 97 for the males is 33 out of 103. It even gives you your two uh, sample proportions and then you can use this uh, to do your analysis. Um, so I'll just do that really quick. So let's go stat, proportion stats, two samples with summary since we have the summary statistics right here. Uh, for the females, we have uh, 29 out of 97. For the males, we have 33 out of 103. Our null hypothesis is that there's no difference between these proportions. Alternative is that there is a difference. Sometimes the wording might be, you know, greater than or less than for males and females. This is just equal, not equal. When I hit compute, it's going to show us that uh, we've got a hypoth The difference in these two samples is about 2%. Um, and... A lot of the questions will ask, hey, what's the standard deviation between these two? Well, uh, StatCrunch is going to do that formulaic calculation for you right here. It'll be listed as the standard error. So that's what you're going to want to put in StatCrunch if it asks you what's the standard deviation. The null hypothesis is the proportions are different, uh, but they may ask you what's the standard deviation of those differences. Well, that's really the standard error calculation. Uh, we get the you know, small z stat, large p value. So... Uh, there's not a statistically significant difference between these two proportions. So hope this helps you with uh, problems like this. That's a nice feature on StatCrunch.